everyone. If you're an acoustic blues player, you've probably seen videos of the old masters sitting on their front porches in the deep south, stomping their foot in time with the music. And the foot actually is used as a second musical instrument. There's something I've always wanted, but unfortunately I have carpet on the floor of my music room. So the first thing I tried was just putting a board down on the floor, stomping my foot on that. It's a lot better than the carpet, but not loud enough. And so what I did to start with was I put a microphone next to it. But then I decided it was time to come up with a Mark II version. So I built this box just out of scrap wood I had lying around, drilled a hole in the end of it. And the next question was how could I mount a microphone inside there and after a bit of research, I decided that the microphone was not really what I needed. So from my local guitar shop, instead I bought this thing here, which is a Soho TP201 transducer pickup. So it has a little um, suction cup on the end of it. It's meant to stick onto your guitar. Transducers work by um, picking up vibration. So the first thing that came to my mind was, uh, why would you put a rubber suction cup on your guitar if you're trying to pick up vibration because that would try to deaden the sound. Here's what the bare guitar sounds like with no amplification. Then you put the suction cup onto the face of the guitar and you get this. sounds pretty good. But then I found that if you take it and turn it upside down and put the solid part onto the face of the guitar, it becomes about four times louder. So what I've decided to do is um, basically glue this part of the transducer onto the underside of my stomp box and then I have this little um, jack which will go in here and I can just plug a guitar cable into my amp. This Soho TP201 transducer costs in my local guitar shop here in New Zealand a bit over $20 and I think they're pretty much the same all around the world. So here's the Mark II version. This is the um, transducer glued on the underside with the jack attached on the end here and uh, I have to say I don't like the sound of it. It sounds to me a bit tinny. Plus I don't like the fact that it makes my left leg higher than my right leg. I like my legs to be about the same level. So I think it's time to try the Mark III version. Okay here it is the Mark III version. It's just a piece of wood with a transducer glued onto it. That's the sound I was looking for. Perfect. Of course you can run it through um, any of your normal pedals. I'll just run it through this one with a bit of reverb on it here. Kind of cool. Even more. Okay, so this is it. This is the Mark III version. Just a transducer glued onto a piece of wood about this size. It's kind of like a section of a porch, front porch plank. Yeah, you gonna be?
a postscript, this little electrical box makes a great cover for the transducer and also uh, easy to drill a hole in for the jack. Cost about four dollars. Maybe I should varnish this, but then that wouldn't be as authentic. See ya.